This is where I crashed. Came around this corner right here. It's going probably like 20, not even that fast, but <coughs> apparently there's um, crap on the road. And guys like that, that stay in the freaking center when you can't see around it. How's it going? Just checking to see if you're good. Oh yeah, no, I'm fine. All right, yeah, cool. Yeah, just be careful on this corner because this is actually where I laid it down. Yeah. <laughs> so, yep, went around here and then kind of somewhere around here I biffed it, just freaking laid it down. What the hell? And bike slid whoosh, right into this pile of nothingness. Damage wasn't too bad though, snapped off the frame sliders though. But, uh, yeah, and then like I said, you got idiots that are halfway inside the freaking line, and it's just not safe. On these tight corners, you really got to be careful, which is why I take it really slow now. Just cruise. Don't actually go fast. You know what I mean? Take it up while I'm laying down. So the point of today's motor vlog, actually we're going to talk about the top three things I hate about motor vloggers. I know it sounds kind of weird coming from somebody that motor vlogs, but I get so freaking uh, bored when watching motor vlogs. Like I feel like the people are just so freaking boring sometimes and just do the stupidest things and it makes you uninterested, you know? So that's some of the things we're going to talk about today. And to start, number one is people not getting to the point when you're moto vlogging they take forever it's just they go on and on about one thing and you get it you get it you really do yet they keep going on and on about it and have these long freaking pauses between their their sentences and you end up making a eight minute video go to 15 minutes so um it goes a little something like this so uh today we're going to talk about engines and what they do how they feel how do they make you feel inside so uh elaborating on to that an engine is something that makes you move forward so like my bike has an engine and it pushes me forward like right now like watch i twist the engine and i go forward you see hang on let me give you a better description i twist and it goes forward because that's the engine doing that you see what i mean and the engine's what keeps you on the road. So, so yeah, the, the engine, it, it uh, it's fun. It's a fun engine. You see, it's stuff like that, where it's like, okay, so you're talking about an engine, Okay, and then you've got this long pause between what you're talking about before and you don't edit it out, number one. And number two, it's like you're saying the same thing over and over again. And it doesn't really make much sense, you know? And it's like, just get to the point, okay? Keep going, keep, keep talking and elaborate on what you have to say because I'm not watching this moto vlog just for the heck of it. I want the knowledge or the information or to laugh, you know, something like that. Number dos is people who go off topic. So that's like, um, you know, you were talking about engines, right? And then suddenly, oh, you know what? We're gonna talk about something completely different for the next three minutes. And you know, see how that goes for you. So that's gonna be something like. So uh, what you gotta understand is that with the two cylinder, two stroke, there's two pistons and valves. And the pistons go inside the valves and they move around and create energy, okay? So two cylinder, two stroke, Four cylinder, four stroke. Um, I mean, they, the oil cavitates inside the combustion chamber on the two stroke because it, it has two strokes. It's intake compression exhaust and then it relaxes. Intake compression exhaust and then it relaxes. You see? You see what I'm saying? Because your engine needs a break. It's a delicate machine. You gotta take it easy on it. So, and the, then the four stroke is um, intake, exhaust, compression, exhaust intake exhaust compression exhaust and um 
it's there's a big power difference. The uh, two cylinder two stroke is um, it's a uh, very whiny, just and it it has a very sharp power band. It, it's very abrupt. So on the the but the four cylinder four stroke is very smooth. So you see that the power is smooth on the the graph of dynos. So that's my opinion. I mean that's how it is. That's the facts of a two cylinder two stroke slash four stroke cylinder, and. Uh, you know, that's like a four-cylinder four-stroke, and uh, that's a two-cylinder two-stroke, so you know what I mean? Yeah, so so uh, my cat was telling me uh, that the two-cylinder two-stroke is winding out on my, my uh, street bike R6 because the, uh, the, um, it's low on gas, and so it causes the gas to, uh, to, uh, to run lean, and there's more air instead of fuel, so then it winds up before it dies. Okay, so uh, another two cylinder two stroke. Um, so it's the cat was like, I, I fed him his breakfast and he just wouldn't even tell me why he was acting like that. Like, he's just like, I told you a million times, it's your cavitating gut, you idiot. And uh, but then I mowed the grass to give it to him because he likes grass, he's kind of weird. And um, but he still wouldn't tell me if uh, if he was once a two-cylinder or a four-stroke. So I mean, I I just don't know what to say about that. I mean, my grandma just is so freaking ugly, and she stinks. So I mean, and I was giving the cat milk, and it's just like <laughs> it wouldn't get to the milk, you know. So that's part number two that pisses me off. I mean, it's like, okay, you're talking about the two-cylinder, two-stroke, four-cylinder, four-stroke, and what do we have? Nothing. Because you talk about your freaking cat, you know what I mean? I mean, it's like, stay on topic. I get going off a little bit. I do that, you know, talk about how I crash and stuff. But it's like, dude, just come on, let's stay on track. Let's get this moto vlog done so I can get on with my day and not completely waste 15 minutes of my life. And uh, people just don't seem to understand that, you know what I mean? And so... We're gonna move on to topic three, which is uh, having the wrong equipment slash bad editing. It's gonna stop. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Nice bike. <laughs> Everybody stops to make sure I'm okay. It's funny, what the hell is that ringing noise? The uh, wrong equipment slash bad editing kind of goes along with um, like the very first thing I said, which is not getting to the point because they can't edit it right and get out the boring parts, you know. But uh, uh, more touching onto that, also what pisses me off is people not replying to their subscribers. When you know, I get it. If you have a ton of subscribers, it's difficult. But I mean, you know, at least put in the effort. Some people don't. And that's why people like what I do. Because I really do. I put a lot of effort into making sure I respond to people, you know? And, you know, talk with them about stuff and help them out. Deciding which bike to buy first and stuff like that. So, this is how it is when you have the wrong equipment. So, uh, yeah, here we go, guys. This is my uh, first motor vlog. Oh, my God. That guy probably thought I looked so stupid. This is my first metal vlog. I'm holding the helmet or the iPhone by my face. So uh, yeah, guys, how's it uh, going, guys? Uh, what do you think? Yeah, is it good? Yeah. Hey, guys, I need a shift. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys, to uh, put you down there by my balls, but uh, you know I had to uh, shift out. So uh, what do you think? Yeah, is this good? Metal vlog? Yeah. Oh, hang on, car coming. So yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. Top three things, not getting to the point, getting off topic, and having bad editing techniques. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Professional photography of bicyclists, interesting. Probably make an action video. Um, so yeah, not getting to the point. Oh yeah. And bad editing, slash uh, having the wrong equipment. And also number four, didn't list this, but not replying to your subscribers, giving them the time of day. Just making videos, in other words, and just not following up with anything. 
So um, that's the end of this video. Please don't take offense if you are a moto vlogger. I mean, no harm. Simply some things that I feel that subscribers probably would agree with and some things that maybe you could improve on. I know I have plenty to improve on, so I'm not trying to sound like a douche. But uh, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Check out my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Flickr. Yeah, it's a lot. Don't I, I just, yeah, it is. So um, uh, that's it, guys. Have a nice day. Stay safe. And don't crash. And if you need tips for motive vlogging, go ahead and hit me up. I am willing to give tips, and I would like to see you start off fresh. Thanks for going over the yellow line. That's awesome. Alrighty, have a good one, guys. See ya. My brother has had a few of his friends die on motorcycles, on leader bikes, whatever bike it may be, because they made stupid decisions. One guy was mad and pissed off, so he took off from the house screaming.